Hello, hello guys. Narito naman po tayo sa aming uh, sa aking vlog uh, sa overall compress uh, overhauling ng compressor. Papakita ko po sa inyo ngayon ang kakabit na po naman namin ay ang bulgear. Ayun po naka na po ang bulgear. Ikakabit na po siya rito sa kanyang <coughs> paglalagyan. Ito po ang tinatawag na journal bearing. Journal fold bearing. <clears throat> ngayon po ay kinakabit po muna namin ay ang yan po ang oil, oil spray oil spray po para po sa gear ng high speed dito po yan po lalabas ang oil spray ng gear ng high speed at ng uh, bull gear yan po <clears throat> makikita nyo po nakabit po namin yan <clears throat> Now guys, here we go again. We are installing now the carbon seals with O-rings. As you can see how difficult and tricky this is. You need to be careful because once the O-ring will be damaged and it will cause leak heavy leak for the oils that's why you need to be careful for these things this is now the third uh, sec second stage and the third stage rotor we already done before this one and the bull gear and then this is the second stage impeller then the rotor high speed rotor and then the third stage as you can see, we already put also the this is the carbon seal, carbon seal of the second stage. This is the split type bearing. We need to shake it. Okay. This is the third stage. Whoa. Now, I run for the uh, screw to fix now the both split type carbon seal, mechanical carbon seal. Then he will push it through the way. <coughs> done. Okay. We already done putting in this. This is the lock that he need to put to make the carbon seal firm and stable <clears throat> okay guys we, we already done the rotor and then temporarily put the the split type bearing as you can see now we will put the second stage temporarily okay now guys we already fixed the third stage this is the <coughs> third stage 
the final stage of uh, of this compressor. Now the next that uh, we are doing, the next that uh, we are doing is the preparation for the clearances. <coughs> clearances of this bearings these two bearings so we need to check the uh, total float of this total float of this rotor and then uh, we will divide it that two for these two bearings Okay guys, yan. as you can see, already installed it, now we just measure the float. Actually, we already measured the float and then <coughs> what Aaron did is just uh, compute the uh, shim that he need to do, he need to put it. So that uh, we we gain the uh, the exact float on the checklist because we have a checklist of this. We need to identify the float of, of this rotor through its thrust. The tr we call the thrust float. Then one by one he will measure it. One by one he will measure the transport of this, and then after that we will remove this one for the probe, this uh, electrical tape, and the other one also over there. Here. So and we will put the lip cover over there. That is the last point that we need to do. So that's it, guys. This is the only procedure one by one that uh, we did on this uh, compressor assembly. Okay guys, thank you for uh, watching, uh, continue watching of my uh, channel. For the new, if you are new for this channel, Please don't forget to hit the like, share, or subscribe, and also don't forget to click the bell button for more notification of my new video. Uh, bye guys. Bye Aaron. Bye. Thank you guys. God bless.